All right, here we fucking go. So if it wasn't already clear enough, Spotify has reaffirmed in an indirect sort of way that it does not value its artists as artists at all. Rather, it considers us a revenue source and nothing else. Multiple music publications have broken the news that Spotify plans to change its revenue payment system starting in the first quarter of next year. And shockingly, it's not good. So, Spotify, which is already pretty notorious for paying its artists a fucking pittance per stream, has decided to make that system even worse by just flat out refusing to pay royalties on songs that have under a thousand streams. And they've made this out to be like a pro-artist move by, um, you know, implying that it'll, uh, it'll take that revenue away from like ambient noise generators and other like spammy audio stuff that gets put on Spotify. They've also said that it'll move about $40,000 worth of revenue from tracks that get under a thousand streams to tracks that have over a thousand streams, which they're somehow trying to pitch as a good thing. Now, this is all stuff that people know at this point, right? It's a public plan. Multiple publications have, uh, you know, have broken the news on it. Fucking Anthony Fantano has talked about it. Hi. Hello there. And I'm not here to rehash old news, right? What I'm here to do is talk about this from one of those artists who will be affected, right? A real human flesh and blood artist that has less than a thousand streams on every single one of their songs. And I don't mean less than a thousand streams per month. I mean less than a thousand streams, period. Location change again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do this. Okay, I'm gonna... It's as far up as I'm going. I'm fucking nervous. Now, as an artist, my main goal isn't to make money, right? It's to make art and share that art with people. But that's, that's not sustainable if I'm not making money from it, right? That's just how capitalism is, right? I work a, a day job right now, and, you know, I come home and I want to spend my free time relaxing or, like, spending time engaging my other interests and hobbies and stuff. And I have very limited time to make music. But, you know, the more money that a person makes on music, the less time they have to devote to, you know, working a day job, you know, because, you know, if you're making money on music, then that becomes a little more sustainable. You don't have to rely as much on, like, you know, a, a retail job or something. You have more time to make music. The more money you make on music, the more time you have to make music or the more time you have to devote to music in general, whether that be in the form of, like, writing, recording, touring, whatever. I think that's all I need from up here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> now, you might want to, like, play devil's advocate here and, like, ask, like, well, Jack, what does it matter to you if you're getting under a thousand streams per track? You know, does it, who, who cares? Like, what does it matter that you're getting paid, you know, cents per stream? like cents per month or fucking nothing at all. Like that's not much of a difference. Why does that matter? To which I would say, that's not the fucking point. The point is the message that this sends to artists, right? It, 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 it tells us just by virtue of how it's structured that we're not valued for our art. And it, it gives that impression to small artists like me and to large artists too, you know? It says, we, we value you if you're a big artist, but not because of your art. We value you because you make us money. And that's why we're getting rid of all these money-making small artists. That's why we're deciding to cut their revenue, but not yours, because you make us money. And that's why we value you. And it sucks. It's discouraging to make music and to be an artist who wants to make art for the sake of art when there's such a a money-centric view of things. It sucks. It, it fucking sucks, you know? And, like, I don't know. It, it becomes so disheartening to make music when this happens. Like, if my art isn't valued as art, then, like, why bother, you know?
And I'm not saying that I'm I'm going to stop making music because I'm not. I'm not going to stop making music. I don't think I, I could if I wanted to. You know, it's like, um, you know, sharks that can't stop swimming or else they suffocate and they die. I'm the same way with music. If I don't make music, I won't fucking survive. You know, like it's it's part of me and I have to do it. And if I don't do it, I will die. And so I'm not going to stop making music, but it becomes disheartening. It becomes hard to do to put that music into the world when the companies who advertise themselves as companies who are, you know, designed to curate your music and share it with the world and get you paid for your art, don't do those things. They, they, they ignore you and they don't fucking know that you exist and they don't give a shit about you because you don't make them enough money. What's the fucking point of making music on those sites if they don't want to help you and fuck man i don't know i guess what i'm trying to get at here is that like because these companies don't value us as artists if you value us as artists show us that you know make that clear make it clear that somebody values music as art you know stop fucking streaming on spotify because they don't pay anybody fairly, least of all small artists, you know, if you're going to stream music, stream somewhere else, you know, like Apple Music is a, is a big name alternative right now that pays more fairly than Spotify ever did and has not decided to stop paying small artists altogether. Um, or better yet, just purchase music. You know, you can buy stuff on iTunes still, I think. I th I'm pretty sure iTunes is still a, a service that exists and, you know, whether it is or not, Bandcamp also exists, and it's a very, very good alternative to streaming. You know, buy the music on Bandcamp. The majority of the revenue goes to the artist. You you get to download that audio, and you have it forever, and we get money from that. We get a good portion of money from Bandcamp. And there's things like Bandcamp Fridays where, you know, on any given Friday, you pay for a track, you pay for an album, and every single penny of that, goes to the artist except for you know whatever is is taken by like paypal or whatever payment service you're using right but other than other than that like bandcamp doesn't take a single penny for bandcamp fridays and i don't know how long that's going to last there's there's been some shit with bandcamp as well but for right now at least bandcamp is a better alternative and it seems like it's going to be a better alternative for a while even if the new ownership does kind of fuck with stuff it's a it's a better service than Spotify ever was, I think, for artists. And that's the thing. I keep saying for artists, right? Because that's what the problem is here. So many people don't really realize that this shit's going on because these effects don't bleed over into the listener sphere, right? This is, these are problems that affect artists. And like it's our burden to bear and we deal with it. And the listeners just get the music, right? They get to listen to the music, and that's it, and that's cool for them, I guess. And then there's all this behind-the-scenes bullshit that happens that just sucks for everybody else. You know, all the artists and all the people who are, you know, writing songs, recording songs. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's a fucking problem, right? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You know, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not usually the type to go the you know vote with your wallets type of route but like i genuinely don't know what else to say at this point because like what the fuck else is there you know spotify does this for money and the listeners are the ones who give them the money right that that's not to say that the listeners are the source of the money in the sense that like like the listeners don't make Spotify its money, right? The the musicians are the ones who make the money because if we weren't there, then Spotify would have no way of making money, right? But the money comes from the listeners, right? And that's all that Spotify cares about. And if the listeners are gone, if they don't make that money, then maybe things will change. And if not, listeners will go other places and musicians can make money off of other services, right? And that's just what I want. That's I, I want musicians to be paid more fairly. 
And I don't just mean me, right? I do have a personal stake in this because I'm a very small artist who has, you know, under a thousand streams and all songs, whatever. But like, I'm not trying to do this from a, a selfish point of view. Like, I am also a listener of music. And I also really deeply, deeply love a lot of like small, small musicians. And I'm concerned for them too, right? So like, even if you don't give a shit about me or my music, this probably affects somebody that you care about in the music sphere, right? You know, if you like like a local rock band or like a super underground rapper or some shit, like they're probably going to be affected by this too. And that sucks, right? The majority of music on Spotify has under a thousand streams per track. The majority of music on Spotify. You don't really think about that, right? But genuinely, it's like, you know, the majority of videos on YouTube have like probably less than a thousand views, maybe even less than a hundred views, right? But they're still out there. And similarly, the majority of music on Spotify isn't popular, but it's there. And people worked on it, right? And you know, that, that isn't to say that there aren't like cheap spam tracks and like fucking ambient noise generators that don't actually require any work to make and it, they're just put out there to kind of farm streams. That, that does happen. But there are also real people like me and like other artists that I listen to and like artists that you listen to that are real people who actually put work into their music, who make jack shit on streams on Spotify, right? And that sucks and that shouldn't be the case, but it is. And like, I don't know, now I'm just thinking of what I should do with that. Like, I'm, I'm seriously considering pulling all my music from Spotify next year. Which sucks, because right now, Spotify is my biggest source of streams of all the streaming services and all the platforms that I'm on. And next year, that won't matter at all. You understand? Like, I, it doesn't matter how many fucking streams I have on Spotify if it's less than a thousand per track. I'm not getting paid at all. And it's my biggest source of streams. That sucks. It sucks. I don't like I don't know what else to say. This is a shitty situation and Spotify is a shitty company and they should fucking be ashamed of themselves. And I know that they're not and I know that they're not going to be because they don't care about us and they don't care about people. All they care about is money because they're a fucking company. They're they're a corporation whose main goal is to make money. And that that's just the long and the short of it. So yeah, fuck Spotify, stream my music somewhere else, buy it on Bandcamp, buy it on iTunes, just fucking stay away from Spotify. That's all I have to say, I guess. Life is a journey.